you guys? Welcome back to Shay's Way. <sighs> we are talking about Tiger King. I have opinions on Tiger King and I am not afraid to shout them out because oh my lord, that show is taking over the like the entire universe. Like everybody is talking about Tiger King and I just I got some things to say. Okay, so just starting out, I am going to admit something. I actually did not finish watching the documentary because I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I was like, why am I watching this? This is like, uh, it irked me every single time. I could not get through it. I just couldn't pay attention to it because it was like media sensationalizing really crappy people. Like, not everybody in it was crappy, but the main guy, the Joe Exotic guy, that is just as crappy as crap can get. All I'm saying is that people right now are talking about making merch, saying this guy is awesome, when they're not even realizing he trafficked animals, big, beautiful wild cats that need to be protected because their population is dwindling. Um, he trafficked them, many of them died, and they're being exploited for people's uh, entertainment. How would you like to be exploited for entertainment? Would you like it? No! And then not only that, but <laughs> he tried to hire twice, or he hired two hitmen against an, a woman? Uh, I'm sorry, last time I checked, trying to murder somebody was not that cool, you know? It wasn't, wasn't that cool. Um, don't vibe with that. So I don't really get the hype with it. I just can't understand the hype. Like I get the drama. I get it because who knew the tiger community was that insane? Like I thought the equestrian community had some drama and some props, but the tiger community, wow, that is a whole nother spectrum of woe. It's just so crazy. I just feel bad for the animals in it because I'm a huge animal lover. So I, from the point I watched, everybody's talking about one of the people, Carol Baskin. And from the point that I watched, I was like, with, I was like, I'm with you. Like, save them, not exploit the, the tigers. I don't really know about the whole murder of the husband thing, though I did some digging on it and I kind of formed an opinion based on what I read on the news. So correct me if I'm wrong based on the documentary series because I did not finish it. <laughs> From my point of view, this Joe Exotic guy is just... Not exotic. He's not exotic. He's probably gonna put a freaking hit on my head for that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be targeted by Joe Exotic now because um, I spoke bad against him. All I'm saying is I don't know, I don't get the hype with this guy. Like a lot of people actually like him. Why are you liking somebody that wanted to murder somebody because they were disagreeing with them and saying it publicly? Like you're exploiting animals and you're getting mad because somebody was like, um, please don't do that. Let's stop this guy from exploiting animals. The point I did get to was somebody's arm actually legit got bit off in that show and that was crazy. That was something I was like, but I have a little conspiracy theory about that. They don't look like the wealthiest of people. So I know that surgery to get your arm back on is probably really expensive. Right? And so the person that got their arm chopped off by a tiger, the tiger said, I'm gonna fight back. You're trying to exploit me for entertainment? I go pow, pow. They were saying that if they got reconstruction surgery, that it would look bad for like Joe's business and then that would affect the tigers. However, here's my conspiracy theory. Maybe, just maybe, the person that got their arm bit off, I don't remember, remember her name. Um, they couldn't afford the surgery and they're saying that in the documentary because I feel like Netflix is really leaning towards the bad guy's side. Like they painted Carol Baskin who's against him so it's like, this guy versus this girl and they painted her as like this crazy lady oh she cares about the tiger so much like crazy lady oh maybe she killed her husband blah 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 whereas this guy they're like oh he's so rad he's so cool look at him with his business everybody loves him and stuff and so i just kind of feel like they're just painting in a good light and keep in mind this guy he got 22 years in prison for a reason. You don't just get 22 years in prison. You don't just get that. Like if it wasn't a, like if they weren't super suspicious maybe, or like 
I don't know, if they didn't think he did something wrong, he probably wouldn't have gotten 22 years in prison. 22 years, that's a lot of freaking years, bro. I'm not even 22 yet. All I'm saying is I don't really like the series. I don't like what it supports. And I did some digging. Okay, so this is kind of fun stuff. This is the tea part of the video. I don't know if this was explained in the documentary or not, but I read an article online because I wanted to know if the zoo was still open because the guy's in jail, so he's gonna run a zoo. So it was taken over by a couple called, uh, by a couple, Jeff Lowe and Lauren Lowe, and they actually look pretty decent. That's what they look like. They took over the zoo once um, Joe Exotic went to prison. He closed it apparently and they took it over. And many people are spectacle about him just closing it and giving it so easily. But here's what they had to say about it. They touched on about 10% of the story and you know, the portrayal of us stealing the zoo from Joe is very unfair because we came here to help him. We got it back on its feet. Lowe continued, we left to move away because we didn't want to be a zoo in Oklahoma, so the notion that we tried to steal the zoo from him is just ridiculous. So there's a lot of things that people are saying about the show that is ridiculous, like the people that are in the show. And here's the thing, we gotta keep in mind that Netflix producers are making a show for the entertainment of the public, so they're gonna be twisting some things to make it a little more interesting, and also it was very pointed towards this one guy's direction. Everybody else, they have like these theories, oh, this person stole it from him. Oh, this person murdered her husband, ETC. And then all these people afterwards are like, um, that's ridiculous to say that, which we're gonna get to in a second. But in a now deleted post on the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park's Facebook page, they would describe themselves as a couple who loves animals took out the world's largest wildlife trafficker. Come see how healthy and happy all the animals are now that the horrible abuser rots in federal prison. T, so why are we sensationalizing this guy? Why are we giving him attention? Why does he get to have interviews while in prison? Why does he get to have fan pages of him? He's literally abusing animals. I don't know, I think Netflix just wanted to create a very interesting show. I think Netflix wanted something entertaining. They thought the tiger industry was like crazy and they're like, wow, this is some good drama. So they would wanted to televise it, you know? I think Netflix saw a good high selling show opportunity and they took it. Just kind of bothers me. I don't like it. I could not get through the show. I, I don't know how you guys are getting through the show. Can you guys comment down below? Like, is it just the drama that's reeling you in? Because I legit couldn't handle it. Like, I was like, I can't. I can't listen to these people. Uh, no, like I cannot because here's the thing. I know a little bit about like the tiger drama stuff just because I used to follow a lot of like tiger wildlife accounts thinking like they're really good. And then I started reading the comments more and there's these organizations saying, check out these articles. These people actually are selling their animals for different purposes. And so I looked up the articles and there's true, there's like actual, like they have receipts or whatever. like a lot of wildlife conservations or sanctuaries are actually breeding their, ti their tigers, their lions, basically their big cats, they're breeding them and selling them. They're just being sold to different places and they're very suspicious and they're getting a ton of money out of it. It kind of sounds like a whole drug trade to me, except with cat. No, um, no. Okay, now let's get to Carol Baskin. Everybody's like, she murdered her husband. So Joe said that she, murdered him, fed him to the cats, and then put him his body in a meat grinder, and then fed him to the cats, or something. So, right? I don't know about you, but she's a little bit of a shorter woman. But she doesn't look like somebody that would be able to grind an entire human body in a meat grinder, because she said that the meat grinder that they have there is not the one that Netflix showed. Netflix showed like a really big meat grinder, but she said that she actually has one that you use like your hand to do it, and she said it's not physically possible 
to grind an entire human body in it. That's what she said. Uh, it could be alleged. You never know. They actually reopened a cold case based on this series. Oh my lord. So where did that guy go though? Like where did he go? Did she murder him? I don't know. But here's what I think. Joe Exotic is a very smart man and anybody that came against him, he would twist things so that it, you would look away from what he was doing to what they're doing. I thought the show would expose the industry of trafficking animals, but instead, everybody's wondering, did this lady kill her husband? Hmm. But nobody's focusing on poor cats. He legit took the spotlight from his what he's doing that's bad to what she might have done that's bad. And keep in mind, he was proven in court that he hired people to murder her. It's alleged that she might have murdered her husband. There's no proof. But they literally were able to prove that he murdered, tried to murder her. So he's going on about how she's so bad because she murdered somebody. But weren't you going to do the exact same thing? That's all I got to say about this show. I just don't vibe with it. If you guys like it, don't get mad and hate on me for it. I'm expressing my opinion not against the show or Netflix. I love Netflix. Netflix is bay but i'm expressing more against the guy that's in prison right now because we don't stand anyway guys that's it for this video if you guys agree if you guys disagree comment down below your thoughts in a nice manner please um if you like this video make sure to leave me a like and subscribe also don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when i post i have a super exciting announcement drum roll please hello equestrians and non-equestrians I am now an affiliate with Asmar Equestrian. Woo! Asmar Equestrian is an amazing equestrian apparel and men and women fashion brand. It is so cute. Like, if you're an equestrian, you have to know Noelle Asmar, Asmar Equestrian brand. Like, you have to know it. You have to at least have, like, one piece of clothing from it. It's like, I think it's equestrian law almost. For people that aren't equestrians, they have really, really, really cute clothing. I'm an affiliate with them, so I will put my link down below. And next time you want to go shopping and you want to treat yourself, use my link down below. And it's in my Instagram bio, my TikTok bio. It's on my Facebook. It's on my Twitter. Just check it out. It'll take you directly to Noelle Asmar's site. Super easy. And then you can buy your stuff and whatever you want to get. And then it supports Rocket and I. So it's super, super nice. Check out Asmar Equestrian. And thank you so much, Asmar Equestrian, for having me be an affiliate for your brand. These are some of my favorites. I love them so much. These are on my wish list. I want them so badly. Oh my God, they're so cute. Ready? One, two, three love them obsessed also you guys once i get to 100k i'm doing a giveaway for the conspiracy palette so if you guys want to win a conspiracy palette which by the way is going to be impossible to get for like a really long time because of the virus then don't forget to enter my giveaway by sharing my channel with your friends and family and once i get to 100,000 subscribers that's right 100k then I'll choose a winner for the giveaway. Thank you guys. Let's do some video shout outs. Shout out to Fremount Farm. Shout out to Tim. Shout out to Ruru YT. Shout out to Madison P. And last shout out goes to Dimply Bean. Thank you guys so much for commenting. If you guys want to be the next video's video shout out, then don't forget to comment on this video, any of my other videos, or you can comment on my Instagram, Shaysway Official, TikTok, Shana Scorsese, Twitter, Shaysway Slays, and Facebook. Cheers, way. Okay, thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day! Okay, bye!